Hey everybody and welcome to the very first Lakelands football show. I'm Ethan Joyce, this is Andrew Mackey. We're going to be going through the games of the week and hopefully be doing this every week for the remainder of the football season. Biggest game of the week, biggest game of the state really, is probably Christchurch at Abbeville. And Andrew's going to be covering that on Friday. This game's going to be a real doozy, folks. Uh, Christchurch brings a 55-game winning streak into Hyde Stadium. Uh, it's the longest in South Carolina history. Whoa. Um, four state titles in a row. Uh, you know, they're the, the powerhouse of Class 1A football. Um, Advanville and Christchurch played each other last year. Uh, Cavaliers got off to a big 28 to nothing lead before the Panthers whittled that away to 28-21 before uh, succumbing um, to Christchurch. So get a little bit of a chance at some revenge tonight for, for the Advanville Panthers. Um, you know, turnovers are going to be key. The Panthers committed a lot of them last year, fell behind big and couldn't recover. So whoever Whoever controls the football tonight, I think, is going to prevail. Uh, and I'm taking the Panthers to end the streak. Yeah. <laughs> Bold move, I know. Um, another big game this week featuring two of the Lakeland's teams. A uh, little bit of a local rivalry between 96 and Emerald. Mr. Joyce over here gets yeah. that game. These are the two teams I cover regularly. Um, it's going to be a really good game, I think. You know, you have an Emerald team that's still trying to figure out how they're going to replace all the guys they lost last year. Um, going to be a clash of a ton of very speedy and fast athletes. Um, I'm really excited to see Dreek Jones at quarterback, just to see what he can do back there. Um, 96, running back Jalen Carter had a great game against St. Joe's. He's going to have a lot tougher competition in the Emerald defense this year or this week, and um, just really looking forward to see how they can contain each other's athletes. Always need to watch K.J. Chamberlain also, the safety of Emerald and the starting wide out now. He's a playmaker, and he's going to make some noise no matter what he's doing. you got to pick one. Who you taking? Man, I'm going to say Emerald in a last-second touchdown. Wow. That's bold as well. Now let's get to the other games for the week. Um, Saluda playing their first game of the year at Ridge Spring Lunetta. Who do you like in that one? Yeah, I'm going to go with Saluda. I think they have a lot on offense this year. Forrest Wynn got some time last year at quarterback just due to injuries and stuff. I think he's going to have a big year. Got some great wideouts there. Malik Brooks missed last season at running back. He's going to be back this year, and evidently he's stronger than ever. So I'm just really excited to see what that offense can do and see – if they can maybe squeak into the playoffs in that region. They got some nice white uniforms too. Oh yeah, those things are fresh. <laughs> some other games, uh, Whitmire's at Calhoun Falls. The Flashes are going for win number two. That would uh, double their win total for the last two years. Um, I think they're gonna do it. They're really athletic and Coach Fuller's, you know, really got them doing some good things. Crescent's at Dixie. It's a tough contest for the Hornets. Um, Probably going to be 0 2 after Friday. Yeah. Then we have Andrew Jackson and Greenwood Christian, uh, Coach Gale Gary Gillian going for his second win in a row. And, you know, to keep the trend going, we're going to pick against Greenwood Christian because that's the way Gary Gillian likes it. <laughs> and the last game of the week, we got McCormick at Southside Christian. That's always tough going up there, facing one of those private schools. But, uh, those athletes in McCormick are going to present a lot of trouble for those kids. I believe Mateo Durant can do anything that he wants to do. He could probably solve the debt crises of many countries. I think he's just that great. So, All right. Well, you know, that wraps up uh, the first ever Lakelands football show. Thanks for joining us. Uh, for full coverage of Friday's games, visit theindexjournal.com. Uh, follow us on Twitter, at IJ Andrew Mackey, at IJ Ethan Joyce, and at IJ Greg Hampton. Um, hope to see you next week. Hashtag Lakelands football. <laughs>